How you doing? And welcome back to Taekwondo Bro. Today we have a, a nice video. We're doing another one of these podcast punching bag session mix-ups. So pretty much I'll be doing like a little chat, a couple minutes about a certain topic. And then I'll have this playing in the background. So let me know what you guys think of this new format. You know, I kind of saw it begin on Ramsey Dewey's channel where he had a... Uh, he was doing more of like a, a chat, but he was doing it as he was working the punching bag. And you know, I would love to do that, but the noise of in this training room just wouldn't work out. So I think that I'd rather just dub over it and also spare the rest of the people around me from having to listen to me for 20 minutes as I just go in and film. So, <laughs> so today we're going to talk about some sparring substitutes. So pretty much this year has been the year of sparring substitutes because a lot of dojos and stuff are just closed. So we have to find ways to kind of work around it. So if your place is opening up soon, that's pretty good. So here's what I recommend you do in your free time and also if your gym is closed. So pretty much sparring is, you know, it's the combination of your technique, your conditioning, and your strategy pretty much. You can go into a whole bunch of stuff behind it, but it's pretty much those things. You have, you know, your technique. So how good are you at, you know, launching a front kick? You can have the best front kick in the world and still get totally swept in the ring if your conditioning is bad and also you don't have the, the strategy behind it. So the strategy is about putting, you know, it's about where you're moving, it's about what to do. You know, let's say I throw a fake front roundhouse kick to get them to, you know, get accustomed to it, right? And then I just throw a front kick and I just, you know, push them back because they've been accustomed to not react to it. So there's all types of different mind games you can get into. So one of the best ways to train the sparring without actually sparring is the punching bag. We're doing a freestyle, so pretty much what your goal is is what I'm doing on screen right now, except not in the dark, okay? So you'd want to be just pretending like that punching bag is your opponent. Obviously, it's not going to hit you back, so you're just going to throw a couple combos, back off, you know, kind of move your guard around as if you're actually, you know, defending a little bit. Of course, you're not going to get that much defensive practice because it's not going to hit you back. It's better than nothing. You get some pretty good uh, offensive, right? So, another great way, some sparring substitutes, is shadow boxing. So you can either do it in the mirror, right? You can go in front of yourself in a mirror and shadow box, or you can go online and look at a shadow boxing video. So pretty much what will happen is that the whoever's making the video is going to be facing the camera, and they're going to throw a certain amount of techniques and some type of flow, and your goal is to you know, pretend that you block them, like as if they were actually there in front of you, and then strike back with a good opportunity. Now these are pretty good, both the methods are nice. Of course, shadow boxing is all about in the air, it's all about moving around, you know, keeping your guard up. So a lot of people when they're punching a punching bag, maybe they kind of forget that they're supposed to have their hands up right away. Or maybe, you know, they just drop their foot really quick. So shadow boxing, you want to move quick, and you want to move the right way. So you can do this as a great warm-up, by the way. Shadow boxing is something I do with the gym to warm up. Maybe I should film some sessions of it, but it's nice because, you know, it really puts you in the right spot. And then if you're having a problem with combos, you know, it's one of those things you can do to, uh, you know, just get a little looser. I think some new combinations to do. So another, you know, sparring without sparring type drill you can do besides these first two is pretty interesting. It is practicing a form, but doing it the right way. So pretty much, if you take the form, like your katas, whatever you call them, and you apply what you're doing in almost a shadow boxing type of way, so instead of just following the routine as usual, you know, just to practice your technique and whatnot, this time, I want you to break it up into small pieces. Those small little chunks that are combinations in of themselves, you're going to practice these combinations, and then instead of doing the form in like chronological order you just you know practice those specific combinations that's probably the best way to apply a form to actual combat is you take the small pieces of it and you work on them individually of course because you're never going to be able to do the whole form right on somebody i mean theoretically i guess you could but this is never going to happen so if you take those three four move combos and then pull them out and practice them you know you could work on some nice stuff so I think those are kind of the three principal ways of, you know, sparring without sparring, I guess you could say. Of course, there's more different ways you can train, like maybe you want to practice uh, on a reflex bag, maybe you want to do this, that, there's a million different ways. 
those are just three pretty easy ways that we can talk about, you know, real quick. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this new format. You know, I've been experimenting with it. I think it's pretty cool because it gives you something to look at as I'm talking. So it's a pretty cool visual. And on top of that, you can check out some of my combos if you want to steal them. But, you know, whatever. So thanks for watching. You know, drop a like, subscribe, you know, help the, the community grow. Comment down below if you want to see something. It might take a week or two for it to show up, but I will do it in like the first session, you know, I have to do it. So anyways, that pretty much sums it up. So good luck out there, and I'll see you guys next time.